This is Eugene Henrikovich on the laptop screen doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have a Asus K53T laptop, and we're going to show you how to replace the screen on an Asus K53T laptop. Okay, before we do anything with this or any other laptop, we have to disconnect power. And the way you do that is to remove the battery from the back. You slide the two levers out from the battery. This one unlocks it, and this one lets you slide the battery out. Slide the lever out and pull the battery out. Once the battery is out, the laptop is safe to work on. And while we're on the bottom of the laptop, I'll show you where to find the part number for this laptop. There's a label. If you can get a good focus, there we go. It says model K53 MB version K53 TA. I looked on Amazon and they had it as K353 TA. So I think there are several endings, K53 TC and so on. So look it up that way. Okay, once the laptop is back over, we need to remove the screen bezel. The screen bezel is the plastic frame that goes around the screen to get to the screen assembly. And in order to do that, we have to remove two screws at the bottom, and they're hiding behind some rubber covers. In this laptop, the left rubber cover is missing, but usually there's two rubber covers. So before we start taking it apart, let's go through the tools that we're going to need. We're going to need a Electronics PH1 screwdriver. PH stands for Phillips and 1 stands for the size. We also have a PH00 screwdriver for smaller screws and a small 2 millimeter flathead screwdriver to get to screws that are at an angle. We also have a pair of metal tweezers to remove any screws that are stuck and an X-Acto knife or a hobby knife to remove screw covers. So let's get started. We're going to use our hobby knife to remove this screw cover. And I like to put it right by the side of the screw so I don't lose it. And if we had a screw cover here, we would remove this one too with a hobby knife. All right, next we use our PH1 screwdriver to remove the two screws at the bottom, one, and two. For each set of screws, I like to keep them in a separate pile, and I like to keep the piles in the order in which I remove the screws, and this helps you to assemble the laptop and find the right screws. Okay, next, once we remove the screws, we snap off the screen bezel, and this is probably the hardest part of the job, so take your time on this. And what I like to do with this is put my fingertips on the screen side, and gently lift up the bezel and pull it kind of outward towards you while you lift it up and listen for snapping sounds. And once you hear snapping sounds, that's a good sign. That means the bezel is coming off. Take your time on this. If you get stuck at a place, especially on a corner, go around and come back to it later. So you're going to come back to the corner later. You're going to snap off the rest of it. And once you snap it off around the corner, sometimes the corner just comes off. We're going to try the same thing again here, and it just comes off like so. So we keep going around in the bottom too, and it's almost it's almost off except for the hinge covers. And what I like to do for the hinge covers if they get stuck is take the flathead screwdriver and kind of work under the hinge covers and see if you can lift it up and you heard a snapping sound, that means it came off. And we'll try to do this, the same thing here, it snapped off here. And once again, we use our flathead screwdriver to lift it up by the hinge covers and then remove the bezel like so. Okay, the bezel is off and now the screen assembly is exposed. And for this type of screen, it's mounted to some metal mounting brackets on the sides with screws. So we have to get to the screws on the sides. Uh, there's four screws on each side. And right away, we see that two screws in the middle are boxed by some plastic pieces. 
So we need to tilt the screen up a little bit from the screen assembly to get to those screws, and I'll show you how to do that. Well, we, we remove the two screws at the top that are holding the metal mounting bracket to the back of the screen assembly. One. And two. Okay, what this does is allows us to tilt the screen forward. And it's just enough so we can get to those screws on the side. What I'm going to do is show you another trick to tilt the screen forward a little bit more from the screen assembly. There's two screws that are securing the hinge assembly to the back of the screen assembly at the bottom. I loosen them maybe a turn or two, and that will allow us to tilt the screen more away from the screen assembly and have better access to the screws on the side. So now we have full access to all four screws on the side. And just a reminder, when you assemble your laptop, make sure you tighten these screws again. Otherwise, you might damage your hinges. Okay, so we start removing the screen mounting screws from each side. There's four on each side. And we go one by one. One. Two. three, and four. So that's all the screws on this side. We turn the laptop to the other side, and we do the same thing. Okay, this one's stuck a little bit, so we use our metal tweezers, see if we can get to it. And we remove it with the metal tweezers. And keep moving along. And three. And when you do this, make sure your screen is tilted back a little bit because when you remove the last screen, you don't want the last screw, you don't want the screen to fall forward on you. And once we remove the last screw, we can start tilting the screen forward. Make sure nothing is stopping it. And then we lay it down. And then the next step is to remove the connector that goes to the screen. In order to do that, there's some adhesive tape on top of the connector assembly. So we have to lift up this adhesive tape gently being careful not to damage the connector itself. So we go around like so. And, we lift, and there's also some adhesive on the back of the video cable that we have to lift up before we remove the connector. So once we do that, we pull the connector back and the screen is disconnected from the connector. Okay, before we go any further, I'm going to show you how to reconnect this type of connector because it's a big source of trouble that I see. So when you slide the connector in, make sure you feel the two, two clicks. So you won't hear them, but you'll feel them. And let's get a close-up of what the connector connection should look like. Okay, pause the video right here and make sure your connection looks like this. There should not be a gap in the seam between the two sides of the connection. It should be flush. It should look like this. All right, well, let's keep moving on. So once again, we pull the connector out and then we take a look at this screen. This is a 15.6 inch LED screen. And as of early 2012, it's the most common screen that's found on laptop computers. Okay, let's take a look at the part number that we need. Number is N156BGE-L21. That's the part number you need to do when you're looking up this screen. Okay, we at Screen Surgeons also have this screen available for sale. And what you get with us is free email technical support when you do the installation. 
We also have a compatibility guarantee. If the screen we ship to you is not compatible, we'll send you a replacement. We have a two-year warranty on all our screens. And finally, we ship all over the world. If you're not in the United States, most likely we can ship the screen to you. So to order the screen for us from us, please go to www.screensurgeons.com, click buy a screen, then there will be a short form for you to fill out with the laptop model and your email address, and we'll reply to your email with the link to buy the right screen online. And that's it. And also, if you do not have the proper tools, we have this, this toolkit, everything that you see here is included, and you can buy that online with the screen when you buy the screen. Okay, once you have your new screen in, most likely it will not be the exact same part number because there's five or six different vendors that make the exact same screen. But it'll have the connection in the same place and it'll have the exact same physical dimensions. So what you do is you plug the screen in right here with the connector. Then you mount the screen, put the screws in on both sides. Then you put the two screws on top that are holding the metal mounting brackets. You tighten these screws on the bottom. Then you snap on the screen bezel and you put the two screws at the bottom and you should be done. Okay, uh, that's it. Once again, my name is Eugene Henrikovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc. And the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Thank you very much and good luck.